So welcome back to another episode. Just got the kayak in the water here in the Florida Keys. This is my second day for this uh, little Keys mini series. And uh, yesterday I actually fished uh, the same spot for bonefish, but I didn't find any bonefish. I ended up finding a good concentration of tarpon out there on the flats around some mangrove island. And fortunately enough, I was able to get one tarpon to eat on the site cast, but I was only using 15 pound fluoro. And uh, if you saw the video, you know that I like fought the fish for like a little over five minutes and uh, I, I kept them hooked after like four or five jumps and I was pretty certain we were gonna get that fish, but then the tax man crashed the party and ended the fight really quickly, which was very sad. But uh, I did learn a lot. I fished uh, for a couple more hours here and uh, I just felt uh, unprepared for uh, trying to catch tarpon. So I left, went to another spot, but uh, now I'm back to uh, try and see if we can really dial in on these tarpon on the flats. And I'm bringing my uh, bait tank, my cast net, and also just uh, some spinning tackle. That'll be better for uh, trying to catch tarpon and also catch them quicker so uh, the sharks don't get to them before I do. So let's head out there. And uh, what was cool is I actually uh, fished real early this morning, like four or 5 a.m. before the sun came up and I did catch uh, this nice uh, fun size little tarpon. So technically, we've already got the skunk out of the way for the day, but uh, now I just want to dial in on a bite. So I'll see you guys out there on the spot. All right, made it to this first island here where I'm hoping to catch uh, some pilchards or some greenies that would make excellent bait for tarpon and uh, yesterday I saw a bunch of them here so I'm hoping they'll be here again today got some really little ones I want like three four inches though unfortunately not much of any bait here all right, so I'm gonna move to the next two or three islands uh, because uh, right out there is where I saw the most tarpon yesterday. And uh, we'll just uh, start with lures and hopefully uh, we can stumble upon some bait today. Found a little cuda. Yesterday I did see some bigger one, uh, cuda around in this area too, so I might have to try and catch those guys if I can, because they're pretty fun when they get relatively big. But uh, these little ones can just be a nuisance because they uh, will cut up the voodoo shrimp. And now this one's somehow Got me wrapped up in my own seat here. All right, I'm switching to this uh, little Yozuri twitch bait now. I'll be able to cover much more water with this and uh, oh, there's a shark right here. Hmm, pretty cool. If we get another cuda that's uh, legal to keep, I might keep them and uh, throw them on that rod there and then throw them out to see if we can catch a shark. Fish on. Another little cuda.
Oh my gosh, there's another one. There was like a whole school of them following this bait. Oh, did I just get cut off? Yep. Lost the Izzeri. Dang it. All right, since I'm not uh, seeing any tarp in here, I'm gonna pull our anchor and move down a little bit. Just spotted a couple tarpon right here. Dang, they're right there. There they are, right there. Dang, I got a good cast on them, but they spooked. There's hope. <laughs> There's hope that uh, we might be able to hook up on another today, but we just gotta find the right uh, one that's willing to eat. There's a fish. This might be the cuda we need to catch a shark. Oh yeah, that might be a keeper. They gotta be 15 inches. Oh, and he just popped off right there. Boom, I'm glad I grabbed the net. Oh yeah, he's like 16, 17 inches. All right, well I dispatch this guy and I'm just gonna cut him into chunks now. So if uh, we have a nice shark that swims by us, then we're uh, ready to go. And we could throw a juicy cuda chunk right in front of him. Four juicy pieces. I'll just throw them in the back here. Check this out. We've got like a little nurse shark powwow, or maybe they're mating, but there's four of them just uh, touching their noses on the bottom. No, they're <laughs> so they're definitely not mating, but they're feeding on something on the bottom. Or they're trying to maybe bury themselves in the sand. Look at them. That's pretty cool. Oh, I definitely could have caught uh, one of them on the Cuda chunks, but uh, they don't really pull that great. I'd rather search for another uh, shark species to catch. All right, right up here, I've got a shark cruising on the flats. Let's uh, grab a cuda chunk and uh, toss it at him. Oh, perfect leading cast. Oh my gosh. As soon as it hit the, the water, something ate it. What? That was insane. I can't believe how quick that got ate. That was probably the quickest shark bite I've ever had. And now we're going for a little sleigh ride. <laughs> that was so cool. And this actually isn't the shark that I saw. The one that I, I saw, I cast it in front of, but then this one grabbed it, so there was two sharks. Hi. 
nice. It's definitely cool to at least uh, pull on a couple of sharks if uh, I can't get the tarp in today. I'll probably uh, try to bring this shark somewhere shallow where I can get him out of the water to get the hook out and uh, actually crush the barb on the circle hook so it should come out relatively easy. Shouldn't be that difficult without the barb. There it is. Hook is out. And she knows it. She goes sweet all right so I'm gonna have the voodoo at the ready in case we stumble upon some tarpon of course but uh, I put a new bait on uh, this rod all right I got another shark right up here that's super shallow and I can see him tailing oh my gosh that was epic Wow! Whoa, that was so epic! Whoa, this one's ripping! Wow! The shark was just ripping through the flats, chasing little bait, and uh, he was waking so much, you know, he just uh, stuck out like a sore thumb. Oh, still got him. Oh my gosh, this is a different shark! Wow, definitely a different species. Look at him right there. Oh, he broke the hook off. Wow, that was a spinner and just went absolutely crazy and uh, spun the hook off and snapped the wire. Whew. I've never hooked into a spinner in the shallows like that. Wow. He's right here. Different bite. This might be another different shark. There he is. Oh yeah, this looks like a nurse shark. There's a good variety on the flat here. Real good variety. There he is. Much quicker fight from this little guy. All right, same deal as with the last one. Just gonna try and beach them and get the hook out and then release them. Look at those uh, teeth in his mouth. They're not big but they do have a powerful bite. 
So you still gotta be careful. Hook comes right out because I don't have a barb. And away she goes. Sweet. All right, fun stuff, but uh, I think that's gonna be a wrap for uh, this video. And as you can see, we're back at the launch and not uh, along that island where we got the nurse shark. And uh, that was around like 3 p.m. and we caught and released that nurse shark. And uh, we did go back out onto the flat for another like hour and a half. But uh, as the sun started to get lower in the sky, it uh, made it hard to sight fish there effectively. But uh, I did see two more sharks before uh, it made, like it was near impossible to, to see anything and uh, they didn't eat and uh, then I blind casted for like 30 minutes on our way back for like a half a mile and uh, nothing and then I trolled uh, the remainder which is, is like two miles all the way back to the launch and uh, still nothing so all in all it was a tough day uh, but uh, I'm glad we at least that we're able to get the little cuda and turn that into bait and catch uh, some sharks uh, and have some fun with them because uh, you know when you're having when you have a slow day out there at least uh, it's cool that uh, you can rely on uh, sharks uh, being willing to bite and uh, also rip some drag and if you have the proper tools to um, land them unhook them and release them then uh, it also makes for a fun day so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video still and if you did please smash the like button hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna get out and fish again all day but uh, probably a different spot I'm thinking maybe the seven mile bridge and possibly trying to fish the entire seven mile bridge and back so uh, that would be interesting and i'm sure uh there'd be a lot of fish that will uh, definitely go over and hopefully catch them so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and like always live to fish fish to live when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun